Good Friday. Happy morning. Friday. You, Happy might, you Friday. might note it's Friday. Friday. Happy Friday. You're watching this on a Saturday. You might even be watching this on a Sunday. Welcome to our longest trip. We're heading up to the northeast today and making the trip in two legs, aren't we? The support on the channel so far this season has been absolutely superb. So thank you very much for your excellent backing. If you are yet to become a member of the crew, if this is the first time you've ever seen me and him on your screen, then drop us a subscribe. Down below, we're getting devilishly close to 9,000 subscribers on Nearly YouTube. Close. So if you could help us out with that, I would love to hit that sometime soon. So thank you very much if, if you do choose to do so. If we hit 500 likes on the video, I will treat you all to a trip with me on the channel to Shrewsbury on a golf every Tuesday night. <laughs> Who fancies a bit of that? Exciting week of transfer activity twinned with an occasion like this weekend, Andrew. How are you feeling before it today? Massive, Tom. We're going to get up there. We're going to put four past this lot. Like Again? Did. Yes, Again. like we did earlier in the season. Okay. Because it was nice and dry that night, as you might remember. It was, yeah. Perfect night for football, actually, yeah. that was, yeah. It was raining goals, Tom. It, it was, it was goals. raining goals. <laughs> Sunderland, obviously, high flyers in League One this season. So far, we're looking forward to a trip to a real crown jewel of an English football ground, a stadium of light. It's going to be an awful lot of noise from both sets of fans. Really, really well-supported football clubs clashing this weekend. We will hammer this lot 4-0, so I'm really, really looking forward to this. We should have taken a play. Oh, and just like that, let's have a little look at our Surroundings for the evening. Plush. Plush. <laughs> this will do. Right here we go. Then touch down. The hair is still a little bit wet after a lovely steam sauna and swim. We are going to head out now. I'm going to leave you for the night, and I will catch up with you in the morning when it will be match day. Come on the boys. Hi, good morning again Tom. Here we are, Sunderland. I'm looking for somewhere to park the Tesla Tom. I don't know if you see any parking spaces for the Teslas. Specifically for Teslas. Teslas, yeah. Yeah. If you've got any Tesla ideas. You need to plug your Tesla in, do you? Yeah. Yeah, somewhere around here. Let's do this! <laughs> today mate uh, well from Malta Malta to Luton Luton to Gosport see some friends and then to Sunderland dodgy connection at Birmingham so all in all just over 4,000 miles on the way back tonight I leave at 6 o'clock here Sunderland down to Luton and then back to Malta so all in all 36 hours 4,500 miles no 6,000 400 miles. How do you think it's going to go? I'm a little bit nervous. I mean, we haven't been in, in great form the last few weeks because we've had a lot of players out injured, a lot of players are COVID, yeah. and a lot of players just exhausted from playing all season. We've got a few important players out today as well. Uh, Billy Wright, who's been integral at the back of the last few weeks. Yeah. Alex Pritchard has really came into his own in the final third. Not too confident, not too okay. confident. I said 2-1 on my vlog, but I'm, I'm going to have to go 1-1. One, 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 okay. 1-0. One. Um, I've said it all, all along. I think, we'll, I think we'll win the league. I'm going 2-0 Sunderland. Yeah. I've heard Portsmouth have sold four players when he brought one in. Yeah. Portsmouth a really good side playing yep. well they've only lost one in about 13 or 12 games so I'm, I'm, I'm I just have to, be, have to be positive don't you be positive I'm going to be slightly negative and go with the 1-1 but I'm not too confident because we've got a lot of players who are out well I said on Thursday 1-0 it's going to be a close one I think as always win lose or lose win lose or draw no win, win lose, lose or lose, lose. <laughs> win <laughs> lose not the play win lose <laughs> <laughs> It's making me realise I need to go back to the gym. So, it's all a little bit. They got. Hang Good stuff, mate. Good yeah. stuff. Oh, hello. I think we've made it. Oh, big player! Hey, the journey these guys have made and the atmosphere is unreal.
I think I know what you're going to say. We played 40 minutes of football and they didn't. And then Raggett gives it away and they penalise us for it. It's a disgrace. He's done that twice. And I, every time Raggett touches the ball, I panic, Tom. Two halves of a half, if you go. I mean, so I think you started off very well. You had them. You just didn't have any shots. And I think that's what you had to do. You had to actually shoot. They'll clean the goal and they'll one it up. If they start shooting, there, there could be problems. And there could be goals. And that's what we want. I want. I want goals. We're all over them. At the momentum, it's, playing all the football. The nice and, thing and is... And they break away. Raggett gives it away. 1-0. The nice thing is, for that entirety of the first 45 minutes, the only way they were ever going to score was from a pompy mistake. And that's exactly what happened. We make it so hard for ourselves. It's just so disappointing that we build on, we build so many chances up, and it's just that final ball, and it's been a thing for weeks now, and we just sort of carry it around with us like a lurk that we just can't finish off an opportunity. Joe Morales bossing that midfield. He's, he's playing really well. You know, we, we've had chances. You know, first first half we probably had uh, at least 75, 80 percent possession. We gave them two chances, and they took one goal. You know, Raggett as Raggett has had a disaster game today. Um, defensively, we've looked shaky. As soon as we started going forward, we look good. But as soon as we can see that goal, we're starting playing panic football again. between both boxes we were the better side do you want to yeah, elaborate on that? I think we played first half basically good football there um, just you know they've got that cutting edge that killer cutting edge in the final Final third, which we didn't. But yeah, mate. I think we're going to be in eighth, ninth. Good morning. We finish, but, um, Good morning. Yeah, frustrating one, isn't it? That, really, it's so disappointing because I didn't think they were that much better than us. To be honest, and any Sunderland fans out there, I'm really sorry. You're not going to get promoted because Wigan and Rotherham are a long way better than you lot. Um, having been there, and even, even and seen and it. Having yeah. Seen Rotherham this season. Also, MK Dons are far better side than you lot as well. So you'll have fun in the playoffs. But yeah, not with us <laughs> not though. Or anything. Not, no, yeah. yeah. No, no, I'm yeah. just so disheartened by the second half performance yeah. in particular was absolutely shocking. Yeah, I'm not sure what we said at half time. Woeful, yeah, mate. They didn't come out firing. Same mistakes in the second half that we did in the first half. We gave the ball away. We looked, uh, we looked, we looked scared. We looked terrified yeah. to make another mistake yeah. for the whole second half. Yeah. We had our first shot. What was yeah. it? 80, 85 minutes. Yeah, yeah. I don't like to describe our football team as abysmal, Gaz, but that was absolutely abysmal. Yeah. But we had a nice day together, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, when I lose, it's up the blues. On to uh, the next game we go, isn't it? Yeah. I think this year's going to be rebuilding. Danny's still got work to do. The only good thing is we're still in a transfer window at the moment. Yeah. It's a long way. All the fans again, you know. They, they, they come here in numbers, you know. We sung it was an unbelievable out. support, wasn't it? Great support, you know. Great day out in Sunderland. It's not even cold. It's quite nice. No, it's yeah. quite pleasant quite today, nice isn't it? Is. Yeah, <laughs> We're in the car now, as we are going to be for quite some time. Six or seven hours. This evening. Uh, I've just edited the video down. I do hope you've enjoyed it. Um, looking back, you know, it's a great time to spend with the fellow Pompey faithful who were in fantastic voice this weekend. Um, as they always are. That goes without saying. What was wet? Just so so gutting isn't it it's just I've scored one goal in the last four league games that's not exactly penetrating is it no mate it's not we've got Charlton next Monday uh, 31st which is transfer deadline day let's see how the, the tides might have turned by then um, let's hope so because we're, we're after a bit of a tidal wave at the moment hopefully you enjoyed the video thank you for sticking with us to this bit we're going to make the several hundred mile journey home now 350 odd miles back to the sunny south coast thanks for watching thanks to Josh for coming with us fantastic company Gaz made it all the way over from Malta Andrew as always thanks for being with me take care boys and girls keep the faith and as always Play out Pompey. Play out Pompey. Go south. There's a team down there. Go south.